Hi, I'm Doug Wallman. I just uploaded a uh, video of me making my own lavalier microphone, really assembling it, and realized, although that was kind of cool and stuff, it took way too long. I think it was nearly an hour, somewhere around there. So maybe this video will be the shortened version, and it'll have some time lapses. Technically, not really. It'll just be fast-forwarding through uh, certain parts of it and highlighting the main things that matter the most so hope you can enjoy this version a little better but the old version the long version will probably still be there if you need to observe all my fumbling around which wasn't really too much as far as just uh, soldering the microphone capsule that wasn't hard at all had some other issues trying to figure out what to do with the clip and by the way this is a uh, the microphone and I'm using it right now so yeah let's get on to the quick version before I make this one long too <laughs> hi I'm Doug Wallman I'm gonna try to make a lavalier mic today now making probably deserves a little explanation or kind of a uh, disclaimer and that most of the work was made at the manufacturer when they made the the capsule for the mic but I'll be uh, soldering a couple leads on maybe doing a little tape job put it inside an enclosure and I will call it you know me making a lavalier microphone got a few parts this is from DigiKey honestly I kept some of these because this one arrived just today it arrived last I think this is from maybe the UK. It says Royal Mail. I mean, we're going to start with this so I don't get too off track. This is the microphone capsule. I was recommended by someone online. I'll try to include all the links in the description box. And next, you will observe me soldering. I'll try to highlight the moments that matter the most. I think here I'm just sort of contemplating how I'm going to go about doing this soldering job or how I'm going to put it together, just sort of trying to think ahead a little bit. And I think I had an issue with uh, missing one microphone enclosure, which I only needed one, but I ordered two. Just little things like that, and I took forever to figure out stuff <laughs> although I do have an extra one that's on there but that wasn't hard to do I'm making this look kind of hard it's actually pretty easy I'm just a little bit nervous about being on camera and the whole world watching me do this and my eyes probably need better glasses and more lighting to do this uh, better but Looks like it's on there okay. I don't really like how it's so close to the ground plane there. So I might try to move it up. There. In fact, I might just make sure that's in focus. Probably isn't. Oh, this is a, tw a 20 millimeter. Seriously, I had this cord dangling here the whole time. Oh my. So the next part is the moment of truth where I see if the microphone works, which there really wasn't too much doubt that it would. There's not really a whole lot that can go wrong if you're in electronics for any amount of time at all. So, all right. Plug this in. Now, if I have any signal, it should work. Testing one, two. 
I can't really tell right now if it works or not. Test one, two. I can't switch screens or anything. I do have the other mic, which I could turn off. It looks like I'm getting signal. In fact, it looks like I'm clipping. Okay, so I took care of the the voice screen. being on one side in post-production. It'll be taken care of later, though. Hard Test to interrupt one. myself. Test. Yeah, it works. That shouldn't be a surprise, though. Test one, two. I just can't see the signal other than a green light up here. Test one. Now, I hope this sounds better. As soon as I get the mounting situation straightened out, and my camera's about ready to die, so I do have to wrap this up. Well, I hope you enjoyed me struggle, but yet I was successful in soldering two leads to a microphone capsule. It does sound better quality from what I can tell than the Avox Kong. Now, there's, I'm not giving that a bad rap because that actually is a good system. I can say I made a couple crappy videos with it, but that was my fault for not having the level set correctly on different gain staging issues, I think. Uh, that's my fault. I had a lot of hiss. I went out to a couple of places, abandoned places, and was kind of checking out some, like an old house, old cars and stuff. It's kind of noisy. Some of that's the UHF. Some of that was just my preamp or just not having the level set right. Yeah, I'm glad I have this mic. It sounds pretty cool from what I can hear so far. Um, should check it out. I'll put a link in the description box. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> if I was fumbling there a little bit, is is mainly with just being really careful. I got to make sure I tape this up too. But I already wasted a bunch of time and my camera's about to die. So please do remember to subscribe. This is a make this is pretty real here I might clean it up a little bit but we'll keep it down to life and keep it real uh struggles and all maybe not everything i might have to edit some of this crap out but uh yeah i enjoyed being able to do that i do have another one here so with that i'll let you go if you made it this far you're a real champ especially if you didn't fast forward to the end <laughs> all right Thanks, and have a great day. Thanks for listening. It means so much. Appreciate you. So the next part, I'm just going to wrap it up in electrical tape and put on the little clippy thing. I think I have extra clippies right here. I can even show you. Um, so electrical tape and clippies probably would be better with a heat shrink or something like that. Uh, maybe next time. But uh, we got it to work. We knew that. We just needed to kind of put the finishing touches on it. The finesse with electrical tape. But I kind of actually made the clippy part work because the clippy part was too loose. Uh, hard to use as a prop when I can't find it. But yeah, it wasn't. Uh, this diameter is a little bit too big for the base of that lavalier mic. But it worked out okay once. You know, I have to apply uh, electrical tape anyway for uh, to relieve the stress on the wire. So, or I could have used, like I said, um, shrink wrap. All right. And I did a quick song to fill in some dead space, to be honest, because uh, I lost camera, I think, due to either the battery dying or filled up my card or something like that. Enjoy.
I'm recording with my new mic. But, uh, all right, so that's pretty much a wrap with my video. I did mention some stuff about the LVOXCon wireless uh, microphone system and whether or not this microphone that I'm using right now would be a good replacement for the microphone that was provided with their system. And I think the answer is yes, it does sound better. In fact, I'm using it right now. And I have the, the transmitter right here that I'm using. Uh, can't show you the receiver because it's plugged into my uh, audio interface at the moment. But uh, yeah, I think it is a good replacement. It is, does seem to be a little fussy on the input. Uh, you'd have to make sure you have a good cable that would work with that. Even this one's a little bit finicky. But the cable that I bought did not work, at least directly. If I plug it into an extension, then it does work. So there's the answer for that. You might just have a little issue with the cable, or you may not. So with that, I think we'll call it a wrap. I don't know if the video was ever about this, but if someone is interested in um, a replacement uh, lavalier microphone for the LVOXCon, this would be the video that would give you some insight on that. So with that, please do remember to subscribe and hit the notification button or just get the information you need and call it good. I really don't care. Um, but, you know, I'm okay with my nine subscribers. That's awesome. It was a makes a good number. So, uh, all right. God bless. Have an awesome time.